Hey guys, we have a pretty cool update on the homestead. You know how we were going to the laundromat to wash laundry and it was like $50 every time we would go and we would have to go at least once a week? Well, I scored a free washer and dryer on Craigslist. Brandon and I, I picked up one in the van and he picked up one in the back of his truck. And we're seeing how it works today. We're testing it with the heavy hitters. We're washing poopy diapers. Whoop whoop, let's see how it works. It's an oldie but a goodie, y'all. It's a Kenmore, and yuck, but it's working. We have our little tiny Home Depot water pump hooked up to it. Um, it's a pretty old washer, but I'm stoked. So water pressure is a big deal with us because all we have to work with are, I don't know if you can see them, those two tanks, IBC totes stacked on top of each other, and we do um, gravity feeding is basically, we don't have a well pump or anything like that. We have that little tiny pump and so we're pumping water from those two tanks with that little water pump into the washer and then we have to pump water with every cycle, with every rinse and all of that, um, which is not a big deal, we don't care. But our next big goal is to hook up a, or get all the parts for a water ram. Um, I don't know if you've seen them before, but they're just like plumbing parts and PVC and then it's off-grid water pressure. So we're, we have big plans for that and I hope we can make a video on that maybe next weekend. But right now, I'm just stoked to have a working washer no matter how long it takes. At least we'll get one load done day. <laughs> Another super fun update is my mom found this tent. It's like, it's called the Olympic Cottage. Um, it was like a clearance tent from Kmart, but she found it on OfferUp. And um, we are using that as storage right now. So we have our screen printing stuff, which I'll tell you more about that later. And we have the girls' clothes in there because five little girls, that's a lot of clothes. So it's perfect to store their clothes in there. We're looking, we're gonna look into building little clothing racks to hang up all their dresses and stuff. And we're gonna use that for pantry storage. We're just gonna try and organize it and use the space as efficiently as possible. So that's what's going on here. We've had a really hot week. California had a super like intense heat wave, you guys. It got over, I think it was like 107 one day and like high 90s, low 100s the rest of the week. But we survived, we made it through the heat wave and um, it's in the high 80s today, which is glorious. And I'll keep you posted. We'll keep, we'll keep watching that washer and see if it's getting those diapers clean. So in order to get water from the well to the tanks, we use that same little pump, that $100 pump from Home Depot. And we turn on our generator and we plug it in and we pump water from the well into the tank and then we gravity feed it from the tanks to the rig. It's a process and that water ram I mentioned earlier will solve a lot of our water pressure issues because we have like no water pressure, obviously. <laughs> um, and then eventually we are praying and hoping that we can get a solar powered well pump which we just saw on thousands of roots. If you guys follow them, they're such a sweet family. Um, we want to use the same system that they use from RPS. It's a solar powered off grid well pump and it would work with our well, which is amazing. Brandon has a, a system in mind in the meantime that we hope to share with you. It's a really cool gravity fed system. So this little pump right here pumps water from our well, filters it right there, and pumps it all the way, if you follow that gray hose, up to the top of the top tank. And then um, he fills up those tanks, and then we turn the pump off to save gas in the generator, and we gravity feed it directly into the rig. Because gas is crazy in California, so we're trying to conserve as much gas as we can. The solar powered system that we were talking about would literally, 
like it's a big chunk of money in the in the out the gate but it would literally save thousands of dollars like it would be as a miracle like all these little things that we're learning they're just like gifts like it's a miracle to have solar power and to live in California where you can get so much sun that solar power is just like a no-brainer you know so that's our goal our goal is to get to stay off grid to lower our cost of living and our utilities and all of that and um, and just increase our quality of life so we've had washer issues for years you guys we had really really poor water pressure in Tennessee and we had a really old washer there also and so we'd have to run our laundry like several times per load to get it clean um, and right now Brandon goes babe this washer actually scrubs I haven't seen that one in a, that in a while and it's so true like it is scrubbing these diapers clean like clean and I'm so stoked because I don't even care how old it is dude those oldie but goodie washers man they're where it's at well you guys the washer was an amazing success it got all of our diapers the cleanest they've been since we got them and I could not be more pleased things like that wins like that for me are so huge just knowing that I can wash laundry right here at home and not have to lug all my kids and 20 loads of laundry to the laundromat is just it's like a miracle like a, a total miracle for us so totally made my day made my whole weekend and there's still like three projects that we need to do and they're gonna make our life easier too and I can't wait to share them with you so that was our Saturday Saturday win we are gonna head to food ministry tonight and I'll share with you what we get and I'll share with you any other things we do this weekend. So stay tuned for the next video. Thank you guys so much for following along and being at all interested in what's going on over here in the wild, in the wild on the ranch. <laughs> um, we sure appreciate every comment and every subscriber and every share. So please do all those, subscribe and share. And um, yeah, I look forward to sharing more of our crazy life with you.